Okay. We have to go back. Go back up that wall again. How many fairies do I have left anyway? I should have at least one. Two. Okay. Oh. Oops. Don't need that. Ah, shit, I have to go through here, too. Oh, no, I don't. I just go this way. Whew. That's right. That's the way to the mirror shield. Wait. Oh, did I forget where I came from? Oh, it was this way. Okay. Right, there were two doors over here. Okay. kind of a grid going on the walls. I actually wasn't sure. It feels very organic. It doesn't feel like a grid. Okay, I'm gonna wait here. I'm not gonna rush. I don't need to hurry for any reason. I have plenty of time today. I'd actually beat it today. Probably not. And that would be cool. Aha! Perfect! Okay. Now, was this the room? Oh, this was... okay. That was where we got the boss key. Now, we're back to this puzzle. <laughs> now, let's see, what have we got here? We've got all this crap. my sword through the bars. That was the whole thing. I just poke the thing. What? Why? <laughs> so many parts in this game. It just made me go, why bother? <laughs> what was even the point of the... Well, why could you just put the crystal on this side of the door? That's not even a real puzzle. light hit? Uh, I see it starting to reflect. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Uh. Oh, here we go. Kinda? Like, almost. It's gonna be very, very finicky, isn't it? Oh, almost! Go! Ah! Go! <laughs> right at the edge! Shit. Come on, it's touching! It's overlapping! There we go. Bombable. Is this bombable? I can see the seams in it. <laughs> there we go. That's right, usually they're very well indicated in this game. That's the first one that like hasn't had cracks or anything in it. Oh, 
going on. Now do we have to blow up the floor or something? Because clearly you have to get the light down into the lower room with the statue. Like, that's not arguable. Oh yeah, isn't there a thing over there? I think I know what to do. I think it's over here. Yeah. Woohoo! Light Medusa. I don't know why that works, but it worked. Uh, I'll shot in. Yeah, okay. Boss time! Like someone is here, Kume. <laughs> Looks like it's Kotake. What an outrageous fellow he is to intrude so intrude so boldly into our temple. <laughs> we should teach this outrageous fellow a lesson. <laughs> oh, loyal minion. Destroy this intruder on our behalf. turn. He has mastered the FPS stress. God damn, four hearts per hit. That's kind of nuts. Alright, hit and run strats. be the last boss of the dungeon, right? Just a little girl, but she commands a lot of respect among the Gerudo Kotake. Maybe we should make her work for the great Ganondorf for a little while longer. <laughs> Man, she was doing that for seven years. That's gotta suck. Then we should brainwash her again. <laughs> Of 
course, I guess they didn't say that the boss would be right behind the boss key door. That was never stated or anything. It's just the path to the boss. Which it is. Assume presumably. Look at that stupid kid! He came on his own to offer himself to sacrifice to the great Ganondorf. My flame, I will burn him to the bone! With my frost, I will freeze him to his soul! Wait, let me guess, let me guess. After reflect their attacks at each other. That's my guess. That just seems too perfect. Twin robot. Convenient. Okay. I can just target the one that's not shooting the beam. Uh, which one of you is firing? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter? Okay, there we go. Oh! Looks like I can step into the beam. Ah. Okay, it's a little more dodgy than I thought. How did miss? There we go. Okay, let's get serious now, Kotake. Oh, okay, Kume. Kotake and Kume's double dynamite attack. What the hell? That's right, I, didn't, I do not remember every female in this game having these gigantic breasts. I do not remember that at all. And these ones actually have jiggle physics. That's the funny part. Nintendo had jiggle physics on the N64! Okay, what am I trying to do here? Can I deflect the ice? Oh. Kinda? Okay. So I think I have to absorb a bunch of the same element. So absorb a couple ices or absorb a couple fires. So I have fire now. So if you choose fire, I want to absorb it. If you choose ice, I want to dodge. Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing. to absorb ice now? Like two fires and an ice? Or is she just being stubborn? Ah, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Take off target! Yeah! Oh. Shit! What do I do when she goes down? Is hook shot to her? Alright, what do you have to say? Fucking Kume, turn the magic attack back at me. Oh, yeah, I knew that.
Yeah, yeah, you do just jump over and attack. Okay. Don't really care which one it is. Check me out. She just threw three ice in a row. Is that just the thing she does? She just throws ice more often? Turbo Jet, it's going well. I think I'm on the last or second to last dungeon. <laughs> yeah, the spike in playtime between uh, Link's Awakening and Ocarina is kind of insane, actually. I mean, Link's Awakening in like five or six parts? This is taking 17. It's insane. I'm sure I've played this game more than I've played Link's Awakening. It's longer to travel in 3D space than 2D space. Yeah, among other things. Woo! Jiggle physics lady went down! Two to finish Link's Awakening, usually on and off on it. It's a good game. I like the remake. Oh, they didn't even see what they said. What? Hey, Kume, what is that above your head? I don't know, but you have one over your head too, Kotake. But I'm only 400 years old! And I'm just 380 years old! You're twins! Don't try to lie about your age! You must have gone senile! Who are you calling senile? Don't you talk to your older sister? You're twins! How can you be older? Yeah, how heartless you are! I mean, you blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay. Okay, but earlier, so what's gonna happen to the girl they made earlier? Oh, uh, made it disappear? Uh, I'm pretty sure she's the sage. It's been a while though, so I could be wrong. Probably find out right now. Never played Ocarina of Time before? Kid, let me thank you. <laughs> Look what the little kid has become in the past seven years. A competent swordsman. It only took five minutes. By the way, I really messed up. I was brainwashed by those old witches and used by Ganondorf to do his evil will. But isn't it funny that a person like me could turn out to be the Sage of Spirits? And now, I'm going to fight them as one of the six sages. <laughs> I'm going to pay them back for what they did to me. Kid. No. New Moon. The hero of time. Instead of keeping the promise I made back then, I give you this medallion. Take it. 
So what exactly are you intending to do back then when I was 11 years old? What did you promise in the first place? You just said you'd do something good. I'm just never gonna answer that. I haven't played it since 2015 and I was a 3DS person. I don't think I've played this game since easily before 2000 at some point. I tend to not replay games that often. You received the Spirit Medallion. Nabooru awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours, especially not to completion. There are very few games that I beat over and over again. Usually they're very short if I do, like Mega Man or something. I'm still technically 11 years old in this game. Child's mind and an adult body. Yeah. I thought that was kind of funny too. The game basically goes, oh, you don't have the experience. Oh, I've... Did she just say... Did she just imply that she was actually going to... No. <laughs> I refuse to believe it. New Moon. The hero. Finally, all of us, the six sages, have been awakened. The time for the final showdown with the King of Evil has come. Before that, though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. The one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. Okay, I... I don't know what Nabooru was intending to do. I probably shouldn't think about it too hard. But yeah, I have thought it was funny that you're basically an 11 year old in an 18 year old body too. They don't really answer that question as to how you become better at swords and stuff when you don't have any more experience. There's this weird thing fiction does where your ability to do things has nothing to do with experience. It's just your body. <laughs> right? Like, your skills have nothing to do with training and experience. Didn't catch that detail back then? Yeah, I don't know what's up with what she wanted. Okay, let's go to water first. A down, right, right, left. Because I need more fairies. <laughs> this is probably the quickest way to get fairies for free. I've got to say that I don't know what the NSO version looked like when in the NC4 games were first added. I know there was a lot of problems with it, but it seems okay to me. It's literally just like a sharper version of the N64, which is what I'd want, I guess. Sort of having the actual 3DS version in it. Which would be a nice option. Maybe they could give you the option for both. Like put some add some DS games to what does the blue tunic do again? Does it let you breathe underwater? Yes, it gives you infinite time underwater. You don't drown. It also makes you look cool. I like the blue tunic better than the others. Personally. And that. Now we can go to the Temple of Time. Up, right, up, right, left, up. <clears throat> we 
3DS version is really nice. I mean, it was really great because you can use both the circle. Oh, cutscene. I've been waiting for you, new movie. Oh, that's a butt. New Moon, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened to six sages. And now you have a final challenge. A showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikahs. Defined cheeks, very defined cheeks. Everything in this game is a lot more defined than I remember. I don't think they were intended to be seen with this much clarity. If you would seek the sacred triangle, listen well. The resting place of the sacred triangle, the sacred realm, is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. The heart of one who enters it. If an evil heart, the realm will become full of evil. If pure, the realm will become as paradise. So this game literally just takes the lore from Link to the Past, doesn't it? And the Triforce, the Sacred Triangle. It is a balance that weighs the three forces. Power, wisdom, and courage. Yeah, I know who Sheik is. <laughs> it's kind of hard not to, even if you've never played the game. If the heart of the one who holds the Sacred Triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will gain the... But if that one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts. Power, wisdom, and courage. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce. The part representing the force that one most believes in. If that one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. Those two parts will be held within others chosen by destiny. Who, one, who will bear the Triforce mark on the back of their hands. So the ones who don't touch the Triforce just get no say in this. They're sort of shoved into this role they don't want. Nice. Good job, Triforce. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. Never understood why she couldn't be both a ninja and a mage at the same time. Because she would be broken. It's way OP. Ganondorf wouldn't stand a chance. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. She would look so cool though. Yeah, probably. Nice flowing cape with a big, like, the big pointy hat. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty, evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the two of the Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, New Moon. So wait, so... So according to the lore, at this point, the Triforce breaks right here. And at this point, Ganondorf is cursed with immortality. But for some reason, the other two Triforce pieces choose these two people, and then also resurrects them going forward through time. Is that about how the lore goes? So for the rest of time, Link and Zelda are cursed to be constantly reborn over and over again, because Ganondorf was a dick and tried to take the Triforce. I mean, okay. And the other, who holds the Triforce of Wisdom, is the Seventh Sage, who is destined to be the leader of them all. <laughs> the best we don't make sense of the lore, how the lore connects, the better. Yeah, probably. It is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda. I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. Oh 
On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. They made an official lore book back then and even they seemed confused. I can believe it. I saw you as I was escaping. I thought I should entrust the ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best chance. Almost you ran me over with your horse. Yeah, that probably would have been bad. As long as you had the ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm, but... Something I could never expect happened. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the sacred realm. Your spirits remained in the Sacred Realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the Sacred Realm. Ganondorf had become the Evil King, and the Sacred Realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. So wait. So Link was already in stasis when he touched the Triforce, so the Triforce chose him even though he basically didn't exist? What? Okay. Yeah, like you said, don't examine it too hard. I passed myself off as a Sheikah in hopes that you would return. I waited for seven years. And now you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the evil king, will end. That's a lot of pressure to put on a person. The Six Sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. At least this isn't Kingdom Hearts. I actually think Kingdom Hearts is a little more... Because Kingdom Hearts is only convoluted if you try to... I don't know, Kingdom Hearts isn't a, a, that convoluted. It's just told out of order. It's easy to not know a lot of key context, but if you actually look at the lore, like read it front to back, it does make a lot of sense. It's not that complicated. You just have to like look at it in the correct timeline, which it was produced out of order. So that's probably why everyone thinks it's confusing. It's not that bad, though. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus, Ganondorf, the evil king, will vanish from Hyrule. New Moon. In order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the evil king's defenses. The power given to the Chosen Ones. And the Sacred Arrow of Light. The light arrow. Light of justice will smite evil. <clears throat> that rumbling. It can't be. Kidnaps the instant she comes out of hiding. Princess Zelda. You foolish traitor. How is she the traitor? You're the one who killed everyone. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. My only mistake was to slightly under underestimate the power of this kid. No, it was not the kid's power I misjudged. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, then I will become the true ruler of the world. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. You betrayed the whole kingdom and you weren't even on the same side to begin with. No, I, I was never part of this, was I? I didn't betray anyone. You're the Zelda, really.
<laughs> He's laughing at me. Onward to the final battle, probably. I know there's a very easy way to kill it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm playing the game, not breaking it. If I wanted to break it, I could look up a whole bunch of skips and crap. I assume I can get over there now? I'm not sure how. I'm not sure where else I would go. Supposedly the hammer can break these? What I've been told? Oh, nope, not that one. Oh, okay, that one. Okay. It says grab, but it won't grab. I want to grab. The button says grab! Grab! I guess I can't grab it. I feel like almost everything can be solved with a hop, skip, and a jump in this game. And a key! Don't oh, forget the key. Lots and lots and lots of keys. Ah, there's a Skulltula. I'm here, might as well get it. Okay, now, question. How do I get to the castle? Oh, cutscene magic. New Moon, can you hear me? It's Rauru, the sage. The power of the cutscene will save you. We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon's Tower, is protected by six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda. Castle was Rainbow Road. Absolutely. <laughs> Did I just screw myself over by jumping over here? Nope. Okay, we're good. I'm not feeling really sorry. <laughs> no, it's very Rainbow Road. I'm actually not sure. Was this game before or after Mario Kart 64? Because it's very Mario Kart 64 Rainbow Row, but I don't remember which came first. Oh, that was as close as a bond trap. Alright. This is going to be a very, very big and long maze, isn't it?
your head to the ceiling. Perfect. I want my light arrows. Is there a frost arrow? Is that this extra space? I just missed the frost arrow. Oh, nice. Hit that through the door again. No. Alright, not this time. Ember Road appeared on the NES SNES game, so it technically existed before this game. Yeah, it didn't look quite the same. Like, I would say it's different enough to where it wouldn't immediately come to mind. Alright, I'll go back in there in a minute. Hopefully I can go around somewhere. Another one of these. Still can't grab it. Check. New Moon, it's so hot in here. We can't stay in here for long. <laughs> this is straight up Mario 64. Ugh. I actually remember reading once, apparently, a lot of the challenges in this game were Mario 64 challenges. Ugh. They just ended up repurposing them for Zelda because they didn't want to use them all for Mario 64. Oh, that was a fun little factoid. Holy crap! Ah. Okay, what is with these? Do you use a song for these? The silver gauntlets, but it won't let me grab them. Even with the gauntlets. Okay. There's <laughs> oh. another set of gauntlets? Maybe. Also, I can't get out there. Yeah, I only see four. Diamonds, so I think the other one is behind that boulder I can't lift yet. So there's got to be another door I can actually start with. I think I'm just going in the wrong doors. I need to find the dungeon item. Okay, this seems doable. Oh shit. Not you, no! Oh. Woo! That was close. Okay. I'm guessing I need the lens of truth. Aha! How do I get to those? Oh, okay. I'll say it's so much easier to do these precise walking sections with a Joy-Con as opposed to the N64 joystick. N64 joystick was not that precise. I 
I should be able to jump from here, right? Oh, I don't have to bonk that one. Huh? I think I saw a chest. Yeah, okay. Aha! Golden gauntlets! You can feel even more power coursing through your arms. When you get the two gauntlets, like, back to back, that's actually kind of funny. Usually they space the stuff like that out a little bit, but no. Like, right next to each other. Uh, what happens if I turn this one on? Probably nothing, but you never know. Oh, that just turns the... Oh, wait. What? Oh, is that how I was supposed to get down there? Oh! <laughs> Whoops. I broke it. Uh, light arrows. The shadow barrier is dispelled. Please save the princess. Maybe how they change the order of upgrades in Metroid Dread. Us veterans are incredibly unsettled when bombs were the first upgrade. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of weird. I don't really need to go back. I can just go this way. Let's go in order, I suppose. It cannot hurt. Probably. Oh, I have to give up my fairies for this. Damn it. I need the blue fire. Oh, everything's all frozen here. Okay. Unless, can I use fire arrows to replace the blue fire? Probably not, but... Can I try? Yeah. No. Ow. All right, I'll release a fairy. For half a heart. Something once you melt by fire that's dyed blue. Yeah. Uh, wait, timer? What? Wait, why is there a timer here? Wait. There should be a timer here. I can't stop it. Oh, crap. Okay, I think I have to fill in the holes. Maybe? Well, that filled in a hole. Did that help at all? Where am I going? Uh, uh. What is the timer for? What happens if a timer runs out? Uh, I think I messed up. I think I have already messed up. Oh, I 
get it back. Okay. Uh. That accomplished nothing. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I think I... I think I have an idea what I need to do. I'm just not sure why it's timed. Is it just that cold here? I don't bother to explain anything. Is he gonna freeze to death? Alright, now I can push this over and then down and then I can go up there. Maybe the whole room will blow up. Apparently! Sure seems like it. Ah, I can't get you, fairy. I'll have to stay there. Also, the hammer is probably the most laughably stupid item in the game. I'm just gonna say it. Like, it serves no purpose. It breaks rocks, which other things also do, and it hits switches, which just stepping on them should be able to do. Like, it doesn't add anything. Water barrier is dispelled. Hurry up! Ah, Ruto, my favorite sage. Do I actually have to kill the thing, though? Oh my god, stop! Fine, I will do it correctly, if you won't let me do it the easy way. Yeah. So what was the point of the torches? I lit them all and nothing happened! Why have a bunch of unlit torches in a circle if you don't have to light them all? The game tricked me! Oh wait, there's another one up there. Never mind. <laughs> there is no, there's another one up top. Okay! We're gonna be all tricky about it. Out of magic there, I would have been mad. Or at least unhappy. Very unhappy. Alright, can the Eye of Truth do anything here? Or Lens of Truth? Eye of Mordor, Lens of Truth, whatever. Uh, hmm. What is. What are you doing down there? There's nothing there, Navi. So what happens if I do that? Do I still keep the rupee? No. Okay, so I have to figure out how to get it without dying. Right, I 
know I can't use the hook shot on them. No, you don't need the Eye of Truth for anything. I'm not just certain. Can I even get over to that side? Wait, how hard do the fans blow you, anyway? Is this, can it just blow me? I've done this before. I just, yeah, my, I just had a brain blast. I have done this before! Whee! Okay. That's at least not right now. Ah! Ah! Shit! <laughs> They're too narrow. Jump up, thank you. Those boosts always made me. Yeah, they're always kind of about to fall apart, aren't they? About to drop you into a pit. Alright, I think I need this to get to that last one. Oh! Or I could have just headshot it. Okay. Okay. Shit, 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 no! Oh, shit, oh, God, right. <laughs> okay, stop, okay, stop. Stop moving now. Ugh. I feel like Bugs Bunny when I'm wearing these things. <laughs> like, run over a pit and quickly turn around and try to scramble your way back to land. I mean, not Bugs Bunny, the Roadrunner or something. Wiley Coyote, there's the one. have magic in it. Thank you. The forest barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, new moon. I actually really like this dungeon. It's really cool. It's a lot better than the labyrinth I was expecting, because most games, especially Zelda games, will end with like this giant maze. I just generally hate mazes. This is really cool though. The like gauntlet of past mechanics. Putting you through your paces of everything you've been through up to this point. Oh yeah. I still don't know how to get through here. Hey. Well, can I hit the switch with a bomb? No? I forgot, I don't actually know how to get in here. Uh, Eye of Truth? I haven't really used it for much yet. No, not Eye of Truth. Alright, we'll come to you last then. That leaves a couple more. And then 
In fact, uh, let's do this first. Because I know there's a thing right outside the castle I can go in. Oh, I need a key. Yeah, use the light arrow on a bat. That'll be really efficient. It is literally invisible. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking, is the game glitching? But no, it is literally invisible. You have to do the... Okay. The things being invisible is a thing in this game. You need to remember that. Yeah, this scene right there is the only scene I remember about the gauntlets. Nice. Yeah, I actually don't remember the gauntlets at all. I don't remember most of the game. I don't remember most of any of these games, really. Majora's Mask is going to be a lot of fun, because I've honestly never played Majora's Mask through to the end. And I think I only tried it once. I actually didn't like Majora's Mask very much. Because the time mechanic always felt weird to me, because I want to feel like I'm making progress. And when you're constantly restarting and everything you've done goes back to zero, I never feel like I've accomplished anything. But, we'll see how it goes. I do intend to beat it. Left up right, left up right. Dropping by, Turbojet. I hope you have a good night. seconds to get through. No, door, right there. Okay. I'm guessing it's there, but I can't see it, right? Oh, okay. I expect it to... Oh, no! Fuck you! was just bull oh hopefully the puzzles are all still solved yeah okay Light barriers dispelled. Hurry!
Right, I think I want to go out front and see what's behind that giant boulder, though. Just out of curiosity's sake. Because I honestly don't know. And I'm curious. That's why I said for curiosity's sake. That's how language works. Shatter. Oh, yeah. Great Fairy's Fountain. Pretty sure it was Zelda's song, not the l Lullaby of Time. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> not the Lullaby Song of Time. Welcome, New Moon. I am the Great Fairy of Courage. I'm going to enhance your defensive power. Receive it now. Defensive power is enhanced. Your defensive power has been enhanced. That's like the third time they've said that. The damage inflicted by enemies were reduced by half. When battle has made you wary, please come back to see me. Nice. I'll take that. Make the final boss easier. Can I fling the thing again and just like send it soaring somewhere else? No. Yeah, it's a mini game where you just chuck the rock all the way through Hyrule. Not sure where it would land eventually, but that would be kind of fun. Or funny, at least. Maybe not fun. Just following a rock as it flies through the air over and over. To do that one. Is that the last one? Let's see, I've done this one. I don't think I got through this one. No. Because I needed the gauntlets. make you lighter. Does that mean platforms don't drop while I'm wearing them? Yes, it does. It's been a consistent theme that the hover boots aren't just hover. They make you light. So if they do that, 
Yeah, that means nothing goes down while you're wearing it, because you're not too heavy for it. Oh, except for this! Except for this! Alright. Oh, nice. Do you have the hook shot straight from that to the... Oh no, I can just walk away. So once you finish the puzzle, it stays finished, even if you fall. That's good. Fire barriers dispelled. Hurry up, brother! <clears throat> right, there should only be one left. If I'm quick, I can beat the game today. That'd be cool. So all that's left is that confusing one. Yeah, I think that's all that's left. This is, there's gotta be something I'm forgetting. What am I forgetting about? Is it something to do with the enemies? Can I hit it with a fire spell? It should work? But no, it does not work. But what am I missing? Bomb chew? How about you? Whoa, what? Oh, so it is bomb chew! Go bomb chew! You missed! Alright. That's okay. Uh. Can I, like, manually aim it? Aha! Chest on the other side. How's that supposed to work? What, are you supposed to chuck a regular bomb over that so that it hits that and turns on the bomb tube box?
Alright, I need a light in here. Uh, hmm. Sun song, maybe? Just random thought? Right down up, right down up. I just summon the song in here? Summon the song? Summon the sun? No? Can the light arrow substitute for sunlight? No. Okay, how about the Eye of Truth? Oh, hello. Arrows. Can I, can I shoot through the ceiling? Break it. Didn't break it, but... Oh, is this a window? Is that supposed to actually be looking outside, but the graphics are so muddy it doesn't look like it? gave me bomb chews after the grade. They're like, refilled my bomb chews. Maybe I should send a bomb chew up there? And he went around it. I mean, I hit it. Nothing happened. Ah, shit, not a magic. That's probably very, very bad. Um, how the fuck? So I have these here, but I don't think these help me in any way. There's nothing else I can send up there, right? Or just throw the pocket cuckoo up there? Gave me the friggin' bomb shoes. Hmm. Man, this is probably the toughest puzzle in the dungeon. Oh, direct hit, nothing happened. Hmm. 
Is this puzzle going to stop me from beating the game today? That would be extremely unfortunate. I do need magic, though. We can't say go back to the town and, like, buy a magic potion or something. This needs to be daytime, doesn't it? I was right. I was just playing the sun song in the wrong place. That's what it is, isn't it? It just needs to be daytime. Hey! Listen! You have to fix a Zelda for an imprisonment in Ganon's castle. Yeah, yeah, give me a second. I have shopping to do. this that's definitely some lateral thinking you have to do there if that's actually the case like I didn't think of that I was like okay everything I need to solve this puzzle must be in this room it's a closed room so nothing outside the world will matter here but no that hole in the ceiling despite looking like it's drawn on with a sharpie or something actually is a window to the outside which means what it looks like out here does affect what that room looks like I'm pretty sure that's the idea I'll just buy the fairy here. I'm not going to warp back to the water temple. It's more trouble than it's worth. I guess I could have bought the green potion, but meh. Why is this not skippable? I'm sure I'll find some magic in there. That wouldn't leave me stranded without magic when I absolutely need it, right? They would never do that. <clears throat> so, wait, does the sun, does the position of the sun even affect the castle itself? Seems like it's always red in there. Isn't it? Yeah, it's always dark over here. But it's not nighttime anymore, so maybe it has an effect? According to that drawing right there, it looks like it doesn't. I think it is a little brighter here, so... Well, one way to find out. Uh, can't you see what time it is? Oh, was it this one? It was this one. Nice. Right next to the door, so you don't have to run too far. 
That's some good planning on their part. Dropping magic. Is that important somehow? Because the game is pretty good about supplying you with what you need when you, you need it. So if they're dropping arrows and magic in a room, that you might need those in that room? Or for that room? There's always a chance I do have to come out here and do something. I need the sunlights to go into that room. That's what I need. How I do that... I'm not sure. Can I just play the sung song right here? Didn't really change anything, did it? I had a rooster crow. That's good. Nah, yeah, that's not gonna do anything. There's something I can like bomb or out here. Can I like hook up to the top of the castle and? I don't think so. It's day or night right now. It's a sun song, so it's probably day. This should work. This should be it, right? Why wouldn't this work? It's the sun song. Bring the sun in here. That's what I need. You can't reflect the light from these torches, can you? No, you can't. Do I have anything that can generate light? Aside from the... Fire stuff, which doesn't work. No. Uh, can I just chuck Deku nuts at them? Those create bright flashes. Let's see. It's fire. Look this one up. It's not impossible, I will. I don't want to, though. No, I'm too close. And I've done so well so far. So, what are my options? I clearly need the sun to come into that room. Like, that's not questionable. Is there a room above this one? No. 
know. Yeah, of course you can't do that way. I don't know what I was thinking. Deactivate one of these. No. Will the light arrow work on any of these? No. Okay, so you literally cannot manually activate those with light arrow. Gotcha. That is not a thing you can do at all. Oh, magic. Now there is another spell I don't have. I would be so pissed if it requires a spell I don't have. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, though. I haven't really needed to use Fiore's Wind, either. Let's see. Can I grapple up through the skylight? Oh, that's a bad angle. I didn't think so. That would have been kind of weird. I think it might be time to look it up. Ugh. Okay. Mm, Zelda. Right at the last dungeon. Let's see. to go through everything, isn't it? Oh, I think I missed it. Uh, lists of stuff. Oh, damn it. Okay, I need the... Which one is this? Okay, not that one. Seal, I did water seal, shadow seal. Which one is this? Uh, not that one. Fire seal. No, not that one. Light. No. I don't even know which one this is. Is this spirit? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, you could have used a spin attack to activate the switch inside. Okay. I didn't even realize that. Uh, light do. Wait, that's a spider web. It's a spider web? I thought it was clouds! Are you kidding? The one thing I didn't shoot at it. <laughs> oh my god, it's a spider web! I thought there were clouds! 
Are you kidding? Well, okay, I don't mind looking that up. That's bull. Oh my god. Aha. Uh -huh. That's a freaking spider web. Why didn't the bomb tree destroy it? Bomb tree could easily destroy that. Don't like that at all. The spirit's barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, kid. Save. Not gonna stop yet. We'll see if we can beat it in 15 minutes. Oh, we're not quite there. Basically invincible with that armor upgrade. Nothing can really do anything to me. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I feel like I'm playing against a really cheap fighting game player. It should just be battles from here on out, right? I have solved the puzzles of the game. At this point, we're building up to the epic climax. I didn't even find a map or a compass. I guess you have to finish out the traditions, huh? Not two of them, really. I can't just walk by. Come on, further away from your partner. Aren't that hard once you get it down. Unless you just stand there and get smacked in the face. Oh, 
even better. I did not know you could do that. Okay. As I'll save after each room. Hopefully they stay beaten, just in case I need to start over later. Uh, do I go up? I think so. Oh, or not. I guess I just go in the other door. You know, the obvious thing, I guess. Of course he's playing the pipe organ. The most evil of instruments. The Triforce parts are resonating. They are combining into one again. The two Triforce parts that I could not capture on that day, seven years ago. I didn't expect they would be hidden within you two. What's with that cape? It's not attached to anything. It's just kind of there. And now, finally, all the Triforce parts have gathered here. Was it like that originally? This looks bad. These toys are too much for you. I command you to return them to me. New Moon, I can't help you. Because of the waves of darkness, I can't get close. I'm sorry, New Moon. I see. No auto aim. Okay, I can't arrow. So how do I dodge that? I can't jump. Ah, oh, of course, okay. We're doing that again, huh? Oh, I can't actually hit him this time. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> this wind up is so long! Oh, 
Do I have to shoot him with a light arrow while he's stunned? Is that the idea? Or do I just keep hitting the ball back up? stuff back down there. Oh, I'm glad he's gonna wait for me. Good gentlemen. Son of a bitch. Oh, there's nothing in them now. There should be something in this one, right? At least some hearts. Yeah, okay. A couple. Hold that thought. Okay. Now let's go. shooting him while he's down. I don't think I can hit him with my sword. Can I? I don't know, it's just way too... Sh you know what? That just seems like another spot where a thieves will come in handy. I'm out of magic! Wait, what do I do now? I literally can't beat him, right? Without magic, I can't do anything. What do I do? Is it over? Because I can't hit him. I just keep hitting the... Oh. Well, he's still doing stuff, so maybe I can... Is this just hidden? Is just doing this hurting? I can't... I can't use my light arrows. what's happening. He keeps cheesing his sword. That's why it takes him longer to swing it sometimes. Yeah, I think the fight might be over already. Because I can't do anything to him.
keeps knocking down floor tiles. Is that indicative of me getting somewhere, or is that just happen? Yeah, I think it's over. I can't actually do anything. Stock on something? No, okay. I'm not gonna sit here and try to die to him. I'm gonna save. It should start me outside of this room. And then I'll come back and just have a part where I beat the final boss. Nice and simple. For now, though, thank you for joining me. I'll be back. Later.